I'm David from Hybrid Racing, and this is a K-Series swap wiring kind of guide, right? So I'm gonna explain all of the essential parts to the wiring kit, uh, kind of what you need to do a K-Swap and how to wire it, why you need these parts. All right, so the first thing that you have to have when you're doing a K-Series swap is you have to have an engine harness. This means you have to have the wiring parts that connect to the actual engine. So there's a big wiring harness that plugs into all of the sensors on the engine. You have to have it. And there are specific ones you can and can't use depending on which conversion harness you have. So we're using our harness, hybrid racing harness. We've been making the same harnesses for almost 20 years now. They're awesome. They're easy to install. They're really good. This is a rye wire engine harness so we've been using ride wire harnesses for a long time uh, all of this stuff is super nice it's all brand new everything is OEM sourced um, and this is like their their case swap you know tucked engine harness so it has all new loom and everything on it but all these connectors are going to be the same as a stock RSX type S so this is an 0204 K20 A2 engine harness and I'll start here at the ECU end. So this is just their junction, so kind of disregard this, I guess. But this is your C101 connector. This is gonna plug into the conversion harness. This is the A connector, and this is the B connector. So both of these plug into your ECU. This is gonna plug into the conversion harness. And so essentially, I mean, I'm not gonna go through all these things, have labels and everything. You plug this onto the engine and then you'll feed it through the firewall. Now you can do that a couple of ways. You can get a grommet. Um, you can just cut a hole and put it through. They have a mil spec uh, actual harness that has a quick disconnect that you can actually you know, plug in and off just from the firewall. If you wanna do that, that's great. Um, a couple of key things to keep in mind if you are gonna use this harness is this stuff is wired for an RSX. So it's got an RSX alternator plug on it. It's gonna have an RSX knock sensor. So if you have a K24, you will have to change the sensor or you'll have to change the connector. Um, either or, all the stuff works the same except it just doesn't plug in. So change one or the other to make it plug in and then you'll be good to go. Next to the engine harness, you have the conversion harness. This is the, basically the part of the wiring kit that connects your engine to your, your chassis. So this is gonna connect to the dashboard and the engine, right? It's that link between the two. Since you can't normally plug a K-Series engine harness into a 92 Civic or whatever, you have to have an adapter. This is that adapter. So how this works is this is the ECU connector. And so we've got the C101 from the engine harness and you basically just plug it in right here, okay? Our conversion harnesses are wired for an RSX Type S engine harness, so K20A2. So you have to have that. If you're using some other kind of harness, even though it may plug in, it could totally not work and you could burn wires and pins and blow fuses and all kinds of stuff. You gotta use 0204 RSX Type S engine harness. You can use uh, the RSX base model manual. You can also run the JDM DC5 Type R harness. It's also compatible. Uh, look at the website and look at the list of compatible stuff because uh, you don't want to use the wrong the wrong stuff here. Now, what we also have on our conversion harness is an E connector. So this connector is the missing link on the ECU. So you've got three three plugs for the ECU. We've got three connectors here now. Other things, since the car, since all K series cars are OBD2, we now have an OBD2 connector. So you can plug a code scanner uh, and check you know, emissions codes or check engine lights or whatever. This is how you would do that. Let's connect this here. So, also on the, on the uh, conversion harness, you have the primary and secondary O2 sensors. So, this is gonna be your wideband sensor. It's a female plug. This is your secondary O2 for emissions. It's got a male plug, okay? This is a wideband relay. So this is gonna be for your air fuel sensor. Um, it doesn't control anything with the ignition or anything like that. It has nothing to do with the ECU power or anything. 
This is straight up for the wide band heater. This is the heater relay. All right, moving along to this. This is the other end of the C101 connector. This is actually what plugs into the dashboard. So in a minute, I'll show you under the dashboard in the Civic, there's a connector, you'll unplug it, and you plug this one in, and then, then we'll go through what all these wires are when we get it in the car. So now that you have your engine plugged in, you have your adapter harness plugged in. Let's get all this stuff back together here. Got your engine, your adapter to the chassis, now you have your ECU. So we use Hondata, this is the Hondata K-Pro, this is the newest one, the version four. When you open the box, you're gonna get the ECU, then you'll have your data cable, so this is gonna connect the ECU to your laptop or your computer, and then it also comes with this little uh, pigtail right here. So the, the V4 is capable of, of adding external inputs, so if you are wanting to run or data log other types of sensors that are not supported on the engine, you can use this connector and feed the data through this to the board directly in here if you need to. So we won't be using this because we don't have any external sensors. Um, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And again, you'll notice on here, we have the A connector, the B connector, these two plugs are empty because this is a manual ECU. If you had an automatic computer, easiest way to tell is these two terminals right here, these two slots are populated. Uh, manual computers don't have that, they're totally blank. And this is our E connector. So engine harness plugs in here and then you've got your conversion harness that plugs in here and it looks just like this. So E connector. A connector and B. There you go. So you got to have all this stuff plugged in. This is what's going to make the car and the engine work together. Make all your gauges work. Make the engine run right. Get rid of you know error codes or whatever. You'll be able to data log with this. It does everything. That's how that goes together. Come on. Okay. Next thing. That's essential to a K-Swap, in my opinion. We always recommend using the OEM Denso Wideband O2 sensor. This is a brand new, in the box. You know, this is the part number you need. We sell these on our website, hybridracing.com. All this stuff, you can buy all this stuff directly off our website. This is a wideband, you gotta put that in the, in the uh, exhaust pipe. You know, weld your bung in there. Once this is in, you'll fish this cable through the car, which we'll do in here in a minute, and basically just plug this in. That's it. Now you've got your wideband O2 sensor stream so that you can check your AFRs and stuff. And that's pretty much it for the essential parts. Now, one thing we do recommend is also this ground wire kit. And the ground wires, so the K-Series are real sensitive to uh, you know, power and ground and things like that, if the motor is not grounded properly, can really do some weird stuff. So we make a kit that's made specifically for the K-Swap and the DC, EG, and the EK. And essentially, this is gonna replace your negative battery terminal, okay? And then you've got, uh, let's see, the shortest one on here, shortest one, timing chain case to the chassis, to the frame. And then you basically have a front transmission to the frame and a rear transmission to the frame. That's it. If you have these and you've also grounded your engine harness, literally the thing will turn on with, with the you know first time you turn it on, everything's going to come to life if you've got it hooked up right. That's how easy it is. So that's it. That's the essential parts. These are all the things you need for a K-Series swap into an EG specifically, but this is also exactly the same for an Integra. And also, if you have an EK Civic or CRX or a newer EM2 or even something that's universal, really the only thing that you would change is just the adapter harness right here. That's it. We have adapters for a bunch of different cars. We have a universal harness that you could literally hook up in anything like a go-kart if you really wanted to. But the adapter is really the only thing that changes. You're gonna have to use the engine harness. You'll have to have the ECU. You have to have the ground wires and an O2 sensor. If you got all this stuff, you can get your K-Series motor running perfect.